on in. Welcome to this vlog. I'm sleeping. Guys, we have to fill you in about last night. But first, let me show you. This is so sweet. We slept in late, which I will get to. But I just came downstairs and Max was breakfast. It looks so good. <laughs> he just said he didn't know they were going to be on film. You would have made them prettier. Yeah. I got the Brody plate. Yeah, yeah, you did. And you even did the kind of toast I like. Yep. You know me so well. Okay, also you guys, have any of you seen Whoa. this type of truff? They sent this new bottle and it's like jalapeno truff. Jalapeno lime black truffle. And I like it. It definitely is like different than their regular, like you taste jalapeno, but I think it's good. Okay, we're gonna eat our breakfast. That was delish. Now I have to show you what we were dealing with all night. <laughs> this guy, huh? <laughs> Did you have a rough night last night? Yeah. Basically, long story short, this guy, oh, oh, you don't want my cuddles? Where are you going? Okay, <laughs> you're hating me. Brody, love. He's like, don't expose me. So, long story short, he hates thunderstorms, like hates, and fireworks as well, all that jazz. Of course, last night to be fun max and i were like we have never slept up on our third floor we just always have a guest day up there in the day bed that like pulls out and i was washing our sheets for our bed and it was like nine o'clock and they were still in the dryer and we were like we are so tired <laughs> like we why do we want to go to bed so early we just had the longest like memorial day weekend i was like away the week before in outer banks and we were like let's just go to bed right now we can just sleep on the third floor we like washed and dried and put those sheets back today it's funny because we had so many guests staying here so we literally had just washed and dried put back on this guest room that guest room in the third floor sheets only ones we didn't do ours so anyway we sleep up there and i'm like wow this is gonna be so nice to have a really good night of sleep like i need to sleep really well i have such a bad headache i've barely been sleeping we've been too social up late drinking whatever and of course it starts thunderstorming so bad in the middle of the night and our third floor is just windows all around so it was so loud and so bright with like the flashes of the lightning and brody was terrified so he had a really rough night or pumpkin so what ended up happening was i was like okay we need to sleep by the room on the end this guest room right here because this is definitely the most quiet room it just has two little windows so i was like max we need to relocate come in here brody me and max come in here and go to sleep except not really because brody's still up he just pants so loud and he like paces around and can't settle down and of course he has medicine prescribed from the vet for fireworks and thunderstorms that actually help a lot but the hard thing is you have to give like an hour in advance so with fireworks that are planned like fourth of july we always know you know to give him his medicine we didn't know there was a big freaking thunderstorm coming all night long so by the time we would have given it to him it would have been like too late and not helpful so the poor guy we were just trying to calm him down but then at this point at like you know 3 a.m my head feels like it's exploding i have the worst headache of my whole life and i'm like oh my gosh i'm not okay we were sleeping like 20 minutes would wake back up 20 minutes because he was so unsettled and then max was like okay i'll stay in here with brody like you need to sleep like you're not okay why don't you go in this guest room right here and get some sleep because our room still didn't have sheets on it and it also has windows all around and it's really loud so then i come in this one which i've never even stayed in this one before and <laughs> went back to bed in here oh my gosh and then you were up keeping your dad up for a while huh the poor thing he's gonna have to sleep like all day he probably barely slept last night he was so stressed anyone else's dog's like so afraid of thunderstorms or fireworks it's so sad but yeah, we have the thunder jacket that like doesn't really help. That's like somewhere in here. I could have tried to go grab that in the night, but it like doesn't help all that much. Maybe like a tiny bit. I've tried that. The medicine is really what helps, but then it's so hard. I really should need to start looking at the weather every night and see if thunderstorms are coming and then try to give it to him like before we go to bed. I don't know. Poor thing. So that was our evening. You guys should see my sleep. It's like all broken up. It's like, well, you were in bed for like 10 hours, but you slept for like less than eight. I'm like, yep, sounds about right. So that was our evening. And maybe we'll take you on a WALK soon if you're feeling up for it. Poor guy. And we keep being like, it's so funny. We slept in every single bed that we have last night, except for our own. We were like running around the house being like, okay, it's quieter in here. Okay, I'm going to be in here. And then early this morning when it stopped thunderstorming, um, Brody and Max came in there and we got to cuddle. Oh, I'm like, it feels like we have like a baby that you're up taking shifts with. And then I Max is like, okay, you get some sleep. Like go in there. I'll be with Brody.
just drove to a coffee shop to get some work done, which I'm really excited that I just have to do this because I always say like, oh, well, go to a coffee shop, like get in the zone, get some work done. And then I feel like I never do. Oh, hang on. <laughs> There's a lot of people getting in their car, so I didn't want to film them. Uh, yeah, I feel like this will be good for me because I feel like at home I just get very distracted. I don't know if any of you really, especially if you like work from home, I just start like holding laundry and doing other things that I shouldn't be doing because I have like things on my computer to do. But yes, I'm here. I'm gonna run in. We're having a little solo coffee date moment. See, and even that in itself, Sorry, I'm so distracted by this car. I feel like it's a good mindset for me because I'm like, oh, I don't want to like get worked on. But I'm like, Gretchen, go take yourself on a date to the coffee shop. Get yourself a yummy coffee. Max already made me coffee this morning, but I think I'm going to go around too. When it's like dreary and kind of cloudy out, I'm just sleepy. So I'm going to get another coffee, treat myself. <laughs> Oh man, I feel like I saw something recently that was like the treating yourself and the like rewarding yourself is getting out of hand like every single day It's like treat myself nine dollar latte <laughs> Which is so me, but it's motivating me to get my work done. So yes, I have a little solo date myself Get some work done Drink my vanilla latte. I had an ice vanilla latte already. I might do a hot one That's what I'm thinking and last thing so I know you guys right as I start this is what I get <laughs> We're trying to do something good. I get in my car, turn on the car, and my check engine light comes on. I'm like, you have to be kidding me. Is that like a joke? So I turn it off. I'm like, maybe if I just like let it reset for a sec, it'll go off. Turn it back on. My check engine light's on. So what could that be about? We will have to see. Of course, Max is like leaving tomorrow during the day. So I don't want to, maybe in two days, we can drop it off and they can check it out. But it's weird because a lot of times in the system vehicle info settings of my car, it'll tell you like the reason why. It's not telling me why. I always hate to see that. That is not a good sign. <laughs> anyway, let's head in before I procrastinate some more. so good my little solo coffee work date very productive i got a lot done it felt really nice and now it's sunny out it was so gloomy earlier and now it's gotten sunny in the afternoon so feeling good i just got to the grocery i'm gonna run in do a quick grocery shop i'll give you guys a haul when i'm back but you know what's so exciting is the sponsor of this video haven't even shared yet thank you so much song finch for sponsoring this video. Wait until you guys hear about them, if you don't already know about them, and see what I did. It's so sweet, it's so cute. I'm so excited to tell you about it. So, basically, what you didn't see this morning is I created an original song about Max is my love story. <laughs> so me such a Pisces thing <laughs> so like I'm so sentimental and nostalgic and yeah basically if you don't know what song Finch is it lets you do just that create an original radio quality song that is completely unique to you and personal and lasts forever and uh, when they reached out to partner with me I was so excited you guys because I love surprising max and i just felt like especially in our engagement fiance era what a better thing to surprise him with especially because boys can be so hard <laughs> to give gifts to and i'm like this is such a sweet nostalgic thing that we can always listen back to and feel so connected just hearing all about our love story especially for all you future brides out there i have just been thinking you could take this in so many directions do so many things with a custom song but imagine for your first First dance you could literally have a first dance song specific to you and your groom it could be such a good wedding gift that you give your groom your husband on your wedding day like how dang sweet I just can't even so I have been sneakily working <laughs> with the artist that I picked out on their website going back and forth like I did details that I wanted in the song I kind of did the vibe that I wanted like I wanted kind of like a wedding sweet vibe like a slower sentimental song and I got to pick through artists that they recommended this is like such a cool idea and I can't believe I didn't know about it before so without further ado I'm procrastinating because I want to insert the footage right here of this morning when I had coffee with Max I was like I have a little surprise and working on something that you don't even know about and I can't wait another second to show you because it was emailed to me that it was finished and I have to play it for you and it was such a sweet moment I was literally sobbing I was not preparing to be that 
emotional, but I think I just kept thinking about details in the song. Like I included my dad and how much he loved Max and loved our love. And I just kept thinking about our wedding day. So that's why I was so emotional, but I'm gonna insert that footage right here. It's called For the Rest of My Life. She's playing the violin. She's playing the violin. Sorry, you listen to that. So I hear my dogs in that. Let's hear it. Okay, ready? Six years ago, we my shelter, my safety, and my peace. Every step, every moment, for the rest of our lives. It's your hand and Cape Cod, an unfolding So that was our special moment this morning, listening to our song together for the first time. I can't wait to see how we incorporate our song into our wedding weekend. And again, I just think if you have a wedding gift, idea in your head or for an anniversary or even I mean there's so many occasions it could work a birthday graduation I feel like would be so good to gift an original song or even just to show someone you love how much you care about them song finch is such an amazing idea you guys can tell I'm obsessed with this gift idea so I'll have them linked down below in the description if you go to songfinch.com slash Gretchen I know they have a special offer right now too where for a limited time basically song finch will let you have your original song on Spotify so you and the lucky person you gift your song to can listen to it anytime anywhere so again if you go to songfinch.com slash Gretchen you after your purchase will be able to add the Spotify streaming option for free again songfinch.com slash Gretchen don't forget and I could talk about them all day long I will get more Max's opinions later for you guys on our sweet song I was so nervous to surprise him with it but it went so well and that was just like such a sweet moment this morning so I'm gonna run into the grocery store now and yeah I'll give you guys a haul when I get home. Just got back home. I have to do grocery. And we're back. We made it. I'm feeling actually very weird right now and like a little shaky. Like a little shaken up and the whole drive back I was like take a deep breath play some music get your mind right right buddy hi I know you're making me feel so much better cutie dog um yeah I just need a second because I don't want to like be emotional and blow this out of proportion but I'm just gonna take Brody on a mini little walk get my mind right and then I'll come back and I at first on my drive home was like I don't want to say anything like I'm just I'm just gonna like not share it in the vlog and then I'll just like do my grocery haul and it's good but then I just got thinking the whole way back about what I'll tell you about and so then I was like no this is definitely worthwhile to share and I feel like even if this just helps like one of you it's like a worthwhile lesson that I've learned should have learned and I'm gonna be way more aware of it going forward because this is something that I do a lot and it's like not worth it and kind of dumb so I'll explain it once again I'm just gonna walk Brody real quick do you have a good walk yeah <laughs> really smiling <laughs> okay feeling better already just got some sunshine and some movement i'm feeling less like jittery you know when something happens you're all just like shaken up and it's probably like adrenaline long story short when i was leaving the grocery store and also i'm aware this is my own fault i need to be more aware of this going forward and not do this but i had gotten a bunch of texts while i was in the grocery store and when i got in my car i was like okay i'll just sit here and like answer really quick so i don't forget when i get home like i'm notoriously bad i feel like at sitting in my car and like being on my phone like answering people or like i got a text from my manager and was like okay these instagram stories are approved like go live asap so i'm like okay i have like five percent on my phone it's about to die but you know that's enough i'll just like post my instagram stories quick whatever so i was sitting there for probably like i don't know five ten minutes after i was in the grocery store which 
I should not do that because I just feel like as a girl, it's not that safe to just like chill in your car. Like I guess people can see you like especially in a grocery store parking lot, but that was honestly the last thing I was thinking of because it's like a nice sunny day, daylight. I bet if it was nighttime, I wouldn't have done that. I feel like I'm more aware at night. I'm just not like sitting in my car. I feel like I always see like safety TikToks and it's like never get in your car and sit in it. Like get in your car, lock the doors immediately, turn on and like drive away. Like don't just like sit there. And so I was sitting there and I was obviously distracted on my phone and I see like out of my peripheral guy start like walking towards my driver door. He's like diagonal for me walking towards the door and is like talking like saying something starts like waving at me and gets like really close all the way up to my door and a part of me feels bad which I know I shouldn't like I feel like guilty ah uh, no see no I can't because like I feel bad that I didn't like roll down the window see if he needed help or directions or lost or something but I especially my heart sank okay and like skipped a beat because this happened to me before in Boston if you guys remember if you don't remember oh I was gonna say two summers ago no that's not right it was before that when I lived in Boston 29th or no 2020 summer and I was moving out of my Boston apartment if you guys remember a man got into my car so I have been traumatized ever since honestly and you would think I'd learned my lesson to not sit in my car but every time I'm in my car now in a parking lot if people are like walking like even when I got to the coffee shop people were getting in the truck next to me and I just was like oh I don't want to film them and I just always am like extremely aware if someone's like walking by my car I always just get like my heart always skips a beat a little bit because I feel like someone's gonna try to open the door and like get my car because this happened in Boston and this man got in my car so I was sitting there Max into Starbucks we got him a order and I was sitting there with the doors unlocked which like normally I feel like but I wasn't aware of this yet and then this guy came up to the passenger door and I literally was about to roll down my window to say like oh do you need directions like I feel like in Boston that's normal and his hand grabbed the like handle like the passenger door handle and my heart sank and he got my car if you guys remember this and sorry I'm like saying two stories at once because this is just reminding me of this is why I'm like traumatized by this and yeah this man in Boston got in my car and he must have been on something I don't know he seemed very disoriented so I like felt bad but I'm like unaware of reality and like where he was and stuff obviously I was just very scared and he got in my car and looked at me and obviously I start like panicking and I feel like I like think in these moments I feel like I'm all bark no bite I don't know the phrase like I, I think in these moments I could stand up for myself or like behave better than I could but I literally was in shock I felt like I couldn't say anything I think I was just like uh, uh, what and I started opening my driver's side door to get out I was about to leave this man in my car because I was so scared and I like didn't know what to do and he just got in my car and like looked at me and said something like I think I'm supposed to be here and I was just so scared I was so scared and so I was like getting out of my car and then as was happening Max was coming back out and was like what are you doing get out of the car like I don't know I don't know I feel bad maybe he thought I was his driver or he just was confused but then I thought maybe he was trying to like take stuff like rob my car but then was probably confused that I was in there I don't know because Max gets Max tells the guy to get out gets in the car I lock the doors immediately and he tries opening the back seat of my car so Max was like okay let's just drive away and like not deal with this right now then as I was driving away, I saw him trying to open other cars parked behind me I'm like is he just trying to take so anyway because of that I'm like you would think more aware but I was sitting there and so this is so long but all I'm trying to say is be safe as a girl don't be dumb like me and sit in your car like it's not worth it you can answer the text when you get home and do whatever and i just am like oh i'll just do this right here now but i, I needed to just drive home it's funny because even when i got home i was about to like whip out my vlog camera and tell you guys in my car and i'm like christian what are you doing get out of the car like go inside lock the door oh it just makes me so sad when stuff like this happens because my car is literally like my safe space i feel like i'm always vlogging in there sitting in there talking to you guys because i'm like oh i'm just in my cozy car doors locked like i feel safe it's quiet and that just made me really sad and made my heart sink and made me feel like an adrenaline rush because I think I didn't even finish what I was saying, but at the grocery store, a man started walking towards my car and was like waving and like trying to say stuff. And I was, I feel bad, like if he needed directions or something, but he could go up to a guy in their car. I don't know. There was also other people in the parking lot, like I could ask them. I don't know. I just had a bad gut feeling and so luckily my car was on and the doors were locked because I do sit in the car with the doors locked and I was just like I'm so sorry I gotta go like and I just like drove off but then I was immediately like I hate this I hate being a girl I hate having to feel scared at a grocery store and stuff that's it I'm done going to the grocery without Max like and I remember telling him that after that happened in Boston years ago like I hate that girls have to feel a little bit scared like whenever I'm out by myself my, my head is on a swivel and I'm just like like I'm like I hate the fact that I feel so much better when he's around I'm like at the grocery store with him I don't have a care in the world I'm like la 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 but then if I'm by myself I'm like always on guard ready to like stand up for myself but then in my car with the doors locked I'm like not on guard I'm like off guard just like doing my own thing but I text my sister right away and I was like we always say we hate being girls we hate 
this type of stuff that happens is stupid crap i hate it but i'm fine like literally nothing happened that's why i said i don't blow it out of proportion but i just think it's worthwhile mentioning to you guys just be aware of like your surroundings in public and your safety and like you never know and it's better to be safe than sorry like i could have rolled down the window but something bad could happen do you know what i mean so it's like just be be safe out there girlies be aware and in the grocery store, especially in places in public and big parking lots, like be aware, get in your car, lock the doors right away and drive away. I get in and I lock the doors right away always now, but don't sit there where people can just see you sitting there through your windshield and just drive away. Do it when you get home. Ugh, oh, this is just like making me sad. I'm happy not like crying or anything. That would be dramatic, but I do hate that this is the world we live in. Okay, last thing I'll say, cause I'm talking literally so long and my groceries are like melting. I need to give you guys the haul that I was getting at. But me and my sister were talking about this the other day. Oh, it was in the Outer Banks. If you guys saw my TikTok, it was the cinnamon roll sound TikTok. It was like, looks like a cinnamon roll. Is a cinnamon roll. Looks like a cinnamon roll could kill you. Looks like they could kill you. Is a cinnamon roll. And I was like, you know what one is me is looks like a cinnamon roll could kill you or no. Yeah, I think we did that one for me. It looks like a cinnamon roll could kill you. And everyone's like, no, Gretchen, you look like a cinnamon roll and you are a cinnamon roll. And I feel like I am, but I feel like in young adulthood over the years, I've gotten, I can just stand up for myself and others easier because of experiences where I've had to in public with like men being creepy and scary and whatever. And it's making me sad thinking about it because I think Lucy and I were talking about it and I was like, everyone's saying I look like a cinnamon roll and I am a cinnamon roll. She's like, you really are and then she was like do you think that you are that way and you have just become more like hardened from experiences and that you could like stick up for yourself and like clap back and be sassy and stuff and it made me sad because i'm like that is so true like i think i look like a cinnamon roll and am a cinnamon roll on the inside it's so dumb that i'm saying all this but do you know what i mean because like my heart on the inside wants to roll down the window and like trust this random strange man and say hi are you okay do you need help but it's like unfortunately through life experiences i've had to look like a cinnamon roll and could kill you deep down. Do you know what I mean? That <laughs> like could stand up for myself and could like yell at someone if I have to because the world is scary and experiences like that have happened. Do you know what I mean? You know what I'm getting at? So it just makes me sad. Like I just wish you could give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Like I see the best in everyone, but then you also need to like look after yourself and take care of yourself and yeah. Anyway, that's my life chat and lesson on be aware if you're a girl. Safe, safe. Okay, I talked about this for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm done with my little life lesson for the day chit chat. I shook it off. I'm okay. Now let's do the grocery haul since it's all sitting there melting. Like I said. Oh, you guys, I can freaking chat. Sorry, that was so long. <laughs> Every moment of this vlog, I'm just like yapping. I am a yapper snapper. Shout out, Sydney. If you're watching this, she said that on a TikTok of hers recently. Anyway, here we go. Grocery haul that I've been trying to get it for like 10 minutes. I'm so glad I remembered my reusable bags this time. I feel like I'm gonna be so bad at that because I'll just be out and about, be like, I should go to the grocery and then I won't have my reusable bags with me. But I did have them this time and I'm very proud of myself because I literally just got everything on my list plus one thing extra that was staring at me. We can start there. And how is it freaking six o'clock already? Watermelon it was the one thing not on my list, but then it was jumping out of me and it looked juicy and yummy. So I grabbed that and here's everything else on my list. Here we go. Granola. I'm going to try to be concise here because you've heard me yap long enough. These cauliflower chips. We like, we actually like the chips better, but they only have the little straw and things today. The cauliflower chips with hummus are like the best thing in the world. Some eggs on their side, hopefully not broken some yogurt i always do the chobani vanilla yogurt but i felt like mixing it up so i got the siggies kind cucumbers some marinated chicken and some marinated steak tips maple bourbon steak tips guys we are obsessed with these the, these marinated ones maple bourbon are you kidding me so so good and delicious oh little random flossers out of those needed more of those i wanted to see if i could find a pre-made chicken salad basically i'm just lazy i need to make my own but i have been in my chicken salad era like literally since last summer me and my best friend taylor could eat it all day every day we're obsessed it's literally so good and i didn't know if they had a pre-made kind but i found one i really need to make my own my dad always used to make homemade chicken salad with like cranberries or like grapes and walnuts and dill and celery and a bunch of stuff like that. I need to like make my own. I made it on my own a couple years ago with like dill and stuff and it was so good. So I need to do that, but we're gonna try this one out. It looks like some celery in there. It looks honestly kind of just like celery and mayo. So we shall see. Gonna try that out. Then we've got 
some butter. You're out of that. Some spinach. I always feel like I look so healthy in my grocery house. It's like a lot of fruits and veggies, but it's because those go bad quick and we go through them, you know, and like meats and produce and stuff is I feel like what I'm getting the most because our bag of rice is huge and lasts a while and we have like our loaf of bread in the freezer that lasts a while and stuff like that. So you know what I mean? I feel like I'm always buying like fruits and veggies the most because they go bad and we go through them. Crispy baby green leaf lettuce. If you guys saw that grocery haul that Max helped me with and I was like crispy and we you're like crispy baby green, green baby crispy, crispy, crispy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna think of every time. But this stuff is so good. This reminds me of Max's mom. She always does Greek salads with these. So I started doing my Greek salads with these and they're delicious. Some green beans. I also feel like I've been in a green bean era. <laughs> they just always sound really good to me. Some strawberries, some raspberries, baby carrots. We already got the hummus to go with. Cauliflower in the carrots. It's like my favorite snack. Some nanas. These looked like the only ones that were ripe, and that was so perfect. Three of those. Little stock of broccoli. And last but not least, avocados. Woo! It's my grocery haul. I'm actually very proud of myself because that was, again, just my list. And normally I end up with a bunch more snacks unless I'm not been that hungry while I was grocery shopping, or I end up with like way more snack type stuff. But yeah. Like focusing on whole foods and fruits and veggies and just nutritiously dense things have made me feel better when I'm eating at home because I feel like we are so social and eat out so much. When I'm home, I'm trying to make like a grilled chicken, a green bean, rice, you know what I mean? Like whole foods. So yeah, that's my grocery haul. In no particular <laughs> way that it's laid out, looks pretty good, huh? do a little bar workout right now i just decided because i'm feeling off <laughs> and i don't want to feel off a workout always gets my mind feeling good and fixes a crappy mindset so we're gonna do that 6 30 workout is actually kind of over somewhere <laughs> No, but like afternoon and evening, I just feel so much more like sleepy and groggy than I feel like morning. I feel like my ideal workout is like a late morning moment because first thing when I wake up, I'm like, wait, I need to say to wake up. But afternoon or evening is like, no, I'm tired. So late morning after I eat a little, drink a little water. Yeah, but this is going to be great, especially because we did not sleep well last night. If you remember the thunderstorms with Brody. So I was like, we need to just sleep in. And so that's why I didn't work out this morning. And I was kind of like, if I get to a workout later in the day, so be it. If not, that's okay. But here we are, we can do it. It'll be great. And Max just told me his mom has invited us over for dinner tonight. Just funny, I think that always happens whenever we get a bunch of groceries like that night, we'll be like going out to dinner or have plans or something. So, even though I just got all those groceries, <laughs> his mom's gonna cook us dinner, which is so sweet. So I have a little bit, it's gonna do a little movement. It's gonna be great. Yeah, and then dinner there tonight will be lovely. I'm gonna do one of Max's sisters workout class as you guys know or if you didn't know she has my favorite bar classes i actually like normally um i love doing like her 9 30 classes she'll have a lot sometimes she does 7 30 9 30 today i want to say she did early like 6 45 8 30 but then if i miss the morning i will just do like an on-demand so i'm gonna pull that up right now chasewoman.com here we go it's gonna be great <laughs>
morning hello i yeah last thing i filmed last night was my little bar workout i figured that would happen because then i just went right over to max's mom's like i said we had dinner and it was so good and yeah that was a really nice end to the evening and two things right now that i meant to tell you guys yesterday first of all this past weekend was memorial day weekend and i at first was like oh we do a memorial day weekend vlog and then i was like no we literally had like six people staying here max and i were just in our hosting era mode so i barely filmed but i remember i did film a bar workout with amy taylor hannah and then we did some pickleball and i might have taken like a two second clip out in the backyard we were just hanging on saturday it was like so sunny and nice and then we danced the night away at cape cod beer and so barn boys and yeah so i can insert that footage here all I got for Memorial Day weekend but I wanted to include that and another thing I wanted to show you guys yesterday because now it was two days ago but I tried a new shampoo and conditioner these came in PR and I made a mental note to tell you guys yesterday and then I forgot so now my hair is two days old but these are really cool and I like them a lot this was just like mind-blowing to me so Briogeo sent their scalp revival charcoal and coconut micro exfoliating shampoo and their don't despair repair deep conditioning mask this I almost like I tried years ago i feel like this had been around and this i feel like i've heard of but i never tried it and so i was so excited to try it because i'm like is this really like a scrub for your scalp and it comes in like a conditioner kind of jar i'm like this is gonna be a shampoo so i was like very intrigued to try look at that and it felt really nice on my scalp like a nice detox scrub and also i don't know if it's like a mint i was gonna say flavor in here a mint scent but it just smells like fresh and minty and kind of like cooling and tingling charcoal coconut oil. So yeah, that's cool. I just <laughs> thought I would share. It was just something fun and exciting. I just yap at Max all day long. Like we're like on a walk. I'm like, guess what? I tried a new shampoo and conditioner. It's really cool. Da -da 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 -da. He's probably like, okay, cool. But like, you know, that's the little things in my daily life. I love trying new things like this. Yeah, a part of me feels like I tried this or maybe a sample of this from like Sephora or something years ago because this smell, I remember. I just really like it. Like a nice conditioning mask so that's when you guys know i normally do my way hair care products my tried and true but since i always do those i thought it'd be fun to mix it up so anyway i wanted to share that my new bikini i want to get some sun it's so sunny out this morning can you still get tan at like 10 o'clock i feel like you can i feel like the uv is already out so i might go breathe in the sun a little bit have a chill morning but this vlog is getting so long my apologies i know i vlogged so much yesterday especially my 10 minute yap on the couch my apologies i'm like oh i'll just tell them like a quick lesson learned i'll talk for like two minutes 10 minutes later <laughs> <sighs> ending off just how we started us in the kitchen is this how we started yeah yesterday morning when you made us breakfast oh yeah yeah it's a quick quick little vlog well, I yapped all day yesterday, so I think oh. it's actually long. Yeah. I told him my encounter at the grocery store. Oh, God. I had a terrifying. lot to talk about, but mm. anyway, we can end this mm -hmm. off here. Tell them your review of our song. So sweet. Isn't it? I haven't stopped listening Isn't to it. Cute? <laughs> You're a liar. I need to send you the link. Yeah, send it to so me. You can I'll listen. Read it. I'll uh, listen to it in the car. Really? really? Sure. <laughs> okay, love you guys. Thanks for watching. And see you next time. See you next time. Bye.